Have you ever tried to create Microsoft Teams channels from Power Apps Canvas apps? In addition to that, to add users from certain groups in Office 365, Azure Active Directory security groups to this newly created channel? Here's a scenario that we have. Let's say that we have a service or a customer service Power App that track customers' complaints. In certain scenarios, we have complaints that need to be escalated and need supervisor's intervention. That representatives will have to, when they get to that point of process and escalate a case, they need, as part of the action, again, this is imaginary scenario, to actually go ahead, create a channel in a Microsoft team specifically used for these kind of escalations. And then after creating that channel, adding users from certain groups to this actually channel. Not only that, you can even go further and actually schedule a meeting for this users from Power Apps so they can actually go ahead and discuss this escalations or case issue. Here's the app that we have. As you can see, I have only three controls or a few controls. The first combo box I, I have here, it's a combo box that will show me all the teams that I have in Microsoft Teams. So all the teams that I have here as a system admin, global admin in the environment, I can see all these teams right here. So this is what we will see here. These are the teams. The connectors that we are using both are standards. It's the Office 365 users and the Microsoft Teams. So what I did here for this combo box is using the Microsoft Teams connector dot this function, get all teams dot value, return actually table of all these teams and some columns, including display name and ID. And I would like to show these two columns. So here I can see, I can see all these teams. When I select one of them, I can actually use that ID. So basically the combo box that selected that ID. So I can use that team ID in my next step. This one is a text box, this control here, for the user to enter the new channel name. And then we have this icon here to basically create that channel using Microsoft Teams connector dot create channel. And then I'm passing the combo box of the teams dot selected dot ID. So I'm, I'm passing the good or the ID of that team that I just selected. Also, I'm passing the text or the name of that channel. So this actually function, it will take the group ID, it will take the display name, and then a description as well. Description also can be dynamic, so I can add a function here or a text box that user can enter the description for this channel. Once that channel is created, then we'll come to the next step. Here we are using the other connector, which is the Office 365. And what I'm using here, I'm using the list groups members of this connector. This function here need a group ID. The group ID I got from, so if I actually go to the Azure Active Directory and I go to this group, I have the supervisor group. And if I check the properties of this group, I can see that this group has something called object ID or this is the group ID. So I just copy this and this group has certain members. As we can see here, those are the members, those are the supervisors in this group. So if I come here and I check this combo box, I can see those users. Also here, we actually got two columns from the table that actually being returned when using list group members. The display name is what we are showing in the combo box. The ID is what we are actually going to use when we add that user with this action right here in this icon. So in this icon, I'm using actually the Microsoft Teams connector, add member to team, and then I'm passing that team that we just selected in this combo box right here. This is the team ID. And then I'm passing also the user ID that we will select from this one here. So let's go ahead and test it. So in, we, have, we have multiple teams. I will select Power Platform Place. This is the team that I have right here. And I, as you can see, I have only one general channel. So I'm going to come here and type a channel and I will call it case and I give it a day. So let's just give it, for example, case one in 2023. 
right? I'm going to go ahead and click. Here you go. It's running in the back. I will come back to my team and see that I just actually have this case channel was created for me. The second step is basically select the user. So I'm going to select, let's say, select Johnny Sherman. As you can see, what I have here, this is just the ID. So this is the ID of the selected team, and this is the ID of the selected user. So now I go ahead and click to add that user. And here you go. The user has been added to this actual team. So if I go to actually Johnny Sherman now, and you can see here, all right, as you can see, it actually immediately come here that I have added you to a team power platform place. And we have actually the case for her as well right so let's actually check another user here and we have here this user right here Nestor so I'm gonna go back to my app this time I'm gonna just go ahead and select Nestor right here and then I'm gonna go click and then I will go to him give it a second as you can see it has been added right here and again there is too many other functions and action that you can use with this connector feel free to check my blog post related to this video and you will find some discussion and some good references or resources about other functions one of them is actually to create a microsoft team meeting i hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe and share and i will see you next time